my neck in the past 24 hours, which is not supposed to be so. A yeah. good country, a running country, she have she have what real time results. Every second, the results should be coming out from mm -hmm. different states, different mm -hmm. what different polling unit. That is how it should be done. So with this kind of stance, right now the people are agitated. They are scared. They are worried. They are having negative assumption, which will always lead to to probe if their expectations are not met. Not the met. people have okay. one voice. The majority voted for their candidate, and and if it turns otherwise, there will be so many reasons for them to what for them to have a what a revolution, just like the answers because of this delay. So many people are already calling for it, but we are just waiting for INEC official before uh, knowing the rest to take go. I sincerely hope that they will do the right thing. I sincerely hope that they will hear the voice of the mass and what and try as much as possible to reduce what the election within and do the right thing. Wow. Okay, I mean <laughs> I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the whole situation is gonna be because if a particular okay, if you tell me maybe a particular state did not vote, that's gonna be explanatory. Hey guys, um, welcome to my channel. I'm so sure this is the very first time I'm doing a collab with someone, and I'm so happy and a bit tense. Well, if you just listen to my channel, I'm Jane Bennett, and this is my YouTube channel. If you're watching from YouTube or WeChat or even Instagram, so I'm here with a very special guest. Okay, and I'm just gonna allow him to introduce himself. So, um, sorry, can we know you? All right, my name is Obina Cosmos HO4. Um, I'm from Nigeria. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, very well. Um, it happens to be that Obina is my brother, my elder brother, and I'm so privileged to be in the military camp because I really want to know what's going on in Nigeria. And for the record, he voted yesterday, which was the 25th of um, January. Of February, okay, don't mind me. All right, so I wanted to really know um what your situation over there is. How is it in Nigeria? Because I've seen a lot of information on Twitter, on Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, like everywhere. It's just been, it's just been booming with images and a lot of a lot of information as well. So I I just want to hear from that person now. You're in Nigeria, so how is it? How is it? Okay, um, we had our vote yesterday, which was on the 25th of February. Um, we have had years of preparations, um, billions of naira's have been awarded to the INEC officials, that's the governing body who are, um, who are the one in charge of making sure that the election comes to pass. So, for today is Sunday, 26th of um, February, which is um, almost 24 hours to the beginning of the election, and we are having unverified news about uh, manipulations, election rigging going on. Results are not being uploaded. Um, first of all, I will start with the process of how the election was supposed to be. Um, the results were supposed to be uploaded. Um, immediately, it has been counted. Thus, immediately the party agents, like each party has their own agent. So immediately, the voters are done voting. The votes have been counted and the results have been uploaded real time towards to the INEC or um, to the INEC dashboard. That's that's the official dashboard which every citizen of Nigeria will be able to see the results in real time. So um, yesterday we have um, numerous reports of 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 the INEC advocate staffs like they were complaining that um, either there was no password or the portal to upload the results were not. Um, we know live or the code. Um, it is specific code for each word for each polling unit. So the INEX staffs were complaining about that. So the people were agitated. So many people were dis disenfranchised because of um of the logistics issues. And uh, so 
um forward back to today um everybody is just calm everybody is just peaceful everybody is just expectant we are waiting for official update official info from INEC. there has been a lot of results both fake both free and i think this is the best time for fake results to uh, to to surface because if there is no official info in 24 hours there will always be what there will always be space for fake news so there are a lot of news on twitter on instagram on facebook we have we have them flying around people trying as much as possible to encourage yourself to tell yourself that their candidate has won but we are all waiting for official update from INEC to see where the country is going for it. so that's where we are now at this moment okay you made mention about uh made mention of shouting or rather bringing out the the result the same day so why didn't that happen? Uh, with what I know or what I've been seeing on the internet, especially the Twitter, I saw that most local governments and actually most states could not do their voting and it resulted to like late night voting and also a carryover. So what really happened? Because I just don't want to think or rather rely on what I see on the internet. I just want to share from you. What really happened? Okay, um, I think I won't say I am not so sure. Um, INEC has not come out to give us a specific reason of what really happened. But I think from the best of my knowledge, and we live in Nigeria, I think there are logistic issues based on the fact that um, there is no Naira, um, there is still scarcity of Nigerian Naira. Um, and you know that was still printed as so. A lot of INEC staff were very, very late to their polling unit apart from late to most of them were confused most most of them were not trained enough to know how to use um the bvs machine which is what was used to what to collect results and what and accredited voters so most of them has those issue in in some some polling units my own was um i voted before 10 30 which is uh mm -hmm. which is if i should use that as an average which is around um 10 percent 10 10 percent compared to the time most people voted in nigeria so 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 on the norm the plan was the result should have been announced 24 hours after the election started and this is over 24 hours and we're not even getting a credible uh update on the results so i think what happened was lack of coordination lack of uh, planning and also unforeseen circumstances from the INEC official and I'm sure and I'm sure that they will work towards it during the next election but as of now the mistake has been done so we are just trying as much as possible to see what they will come up with as a remedy so that's it okay you really break down a lot of things and I feel I kind of feel a bit better because number one I couldn't sleep that's just the truth I couldn't sleep on the night of the fifth and waking up this morning i had to rush to the whatsapp um, app and i had to start checking all the statuses to see if they, if they release the results and all of that so i'm not sure but in your area do you think maybe there are riots going on because i saw on the internet as well about in kogi state and i think i'm not sure but i've only heard of kogi state about the, the the guy that was trying to read the, the election and the box and he died and also oh in Lagos the the woman that got injured like that got injured rather on her face. So what is it like in your area right now? Okay, that's a very good question. Um Nigeria Nigeria election has been known to be a home of Ogre, a home of region and a home of my party. So um we're not expecting a total free and fair election. I must say, um, the citizens, the law and abiding, the law abiding citizens, rather, we're not expecting that. We know that they are surely going to come up with Togri and which they did yesterday. Um, we saw in the internet a lady, um, a lady in her middle age that was stabbed. She was stabbed twice on her face because she was trying to to vote an opposition party which is not supposed to be so because elections should be free and fair okay. every citizen of okay. any country should be given their human right to, to vote for whosoever that they want to vote so uh, coming back to my polling unit um 
was very peaceful. Um, the interesting fact about it was that uh, um, ninety five percent of voters in my holy unit were elders. So and um, um, so that was why it was peaceful. That was why it was because um most of um most of the places where we had issues were mostly where youth were voting mostly mm -hmm. where youth were voting and from the best of my knowledge the youth are agitated um they are taking this election personal we have not seen this massive turnout of youth in the history of nigeria election so um there are so many bodies there are so many parties there are so many entities in nigeria that are not supporting they was a uh, the um the emergence of youth in this election so they are trying as much as possible to cause issue they are trying as much as possible to disrupt the mandate of the people so so far so good in my polling unit about uh we have about 13 to 14 in my area all of them were peaceful all of them were wow. peaceful there was no form of dog gray there was no form of ballot ballots snatching and all, all peaceful it was all peaceful by yeah. okay um you know earlier this morning i was thinking to myself i was just thinking within myself that could it be that the the scarcity of naira kind of helped the this election period like you kind of make it a bit tricky because maybe they didn't have enough money to bribe people as they used to do in in, in the past years but then I didn't really like the the fact that it's cats in Nigeria. So what do you have to say about that? Like what do you have do you think that was a good move and how have you guys been really doing the whole Naira scarcity like for a while now? Oh all right. So um, late last year, um late two thousand twenty two, the Central Bank of Nigeria which is the covering body of monetary policies and affairs in Nigeria. They brought up with the policy of what of swapping the new the old naira to the new one to uh, to prevent goods buying, to prevent the politicians, um the uh, the ones that do not want to go by the book by the election book. Uh, they want to prevent them from achieving their evil aims. So they brought up the idea of new notes. But unfortunately, they were not able to coordinate it. Um, mm -hmm. the same, um, the same mandates, the same mandates, the same um, way that they tried as much as possible to prevent vote buying. Uh, they did not manage very well, so it was not coordinated. Um, a lot of citizens suffered for it. The country economy plunged like it went down and down because there was. It was no free trade. Um, everybody was stranded. We were all trying as much as possible to get cash. Yeah. So, uh, so if we should compare it to this election, I think they had issue. Yes, they were little or no vote buying. Um, we can see videos on the internet where voters, where voters took laws into their hands by what by dismantling those that want to buy food, by what, by chasing mm -hmm. away those that want to buy food. It has never happened in the history of Nigeria. These mm -hmm. are things that were done by what, by law enforcing agent. But in 2003 election, Nigeria took it upon the hand to what, to cast their vote and make sure that what, and make sure that it was free and fair for a new Nigeria. So I think this is a development for Nigeria as a whole that the youths are standing up because the youth always makes up the what the highest population in any country. The okay. so ones the decision making of the country will always have a good stand. Wow. Thank you. I mean <laughs> all right. I really I really appreciate you first for accepting to come for this for this um live meeting and for actually breaking down each aspect because you know the internet could be very overwhelming. Although I know there would never be, or rather, there was there was not going to be a free and fair like hundred percent election. Yeah. But then I mean, you really made it sound like it's not so bad. I mean, it's not so good, but it's not like extremely bad as the internet may seem. You know, I was watching, I, I wasn't watching, but I saw a video of Shoma, I think, I don't know, the, the actress and her live, where in her unit they started um, 
um, looks in the, the boxes and also started causing commotion. And unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, they they stole her phone. And so that made me a bit panic. Like I said, panicking and I said thinking probably that's how the whole situation of Nigeria, especially Lagos, because I, I mean we grew up in Lagos and we know more of those places. And yesterday, actually, I was I was watching Peter B and his interview with the with the Arise News. They they interviewed him about some specific area in the eastern region of Nigeria and um, they not having a means to vote or rather the INEC people not showing up even after they asked them to come. So I was just I was just panicking but I really want to hear from someone. So I, I just want to say thank you and you maybe like have any other thing like in addition you'd like to say or any information about the people in the East? Did you hear anything happening or has there been a uh, turn up? How is the turn up, especially in the East right now? Okay, um, build up to this election, um, the IPOP, um, the, RAF, the Biafra yes, section of the country, um, it, was, it was another separatist, a different group they told uh people in the south is that no one is supposed no one is um is allowed to come out to vote that uh, that election will not happen in south east but to the glory of god and to the um to the um to the addition to in new nigeria the people has been fighting for there was massive turnout in southeast we have never yeah, seen that number sorry, because sorry. everyone you know, the old the young everybody left everything that they were doing they came out but unfortunately um i neck were not able to attend to most of them because due to the insecurity they were not any polling units assigned inside in southeast so um so i think i think in my area right now um in my area right now in lagos state we have about 15 polling units almost each street has their own polling unit in Lagos State, but it was different in Southeast, where where we can see about five thousand people in in a polling unit, which is not supposed to be so. But due to the insecurity, the government wanted them to be in one place so that they will have their eyes on the citizens and protect them. It was a very good thing, though. Like it's it was a a good plan, but unfortunately, the INEC officials were overwhelmed, kind of and were not able to attend to everyone. So most people in the Southeast were not able to vote. They wow. did not vote. And and I and that is why I told you earlier to this um interview that we are still waiting for what INEC will say. We are still waiting for their um for their official update. And um and I think um there has been a lot of reports that election has been um that the results has been has been rigged um, because we've not heard from the north. We've not seen any official result from the neck from the north. Mm -hmm. We've not even seen any official result from INEC in the past twenty four hours, which is not supposed to be so. A yeah. good country, the running country, she have she have what real time results. Every second, the results should be coming out from mm -hmm. different states, different mm -hmm. what different polling units. That is how it should be done. So with this kind of stance right now, the people are agitated. They are scared. They are worried. They are having negative assumption, which will always lead to to probe if their expectations are not met. Not the met. people have a voice. The majority voted for their candidate. And and if it turns otherwise, there will be so many reasons for them to what for them to have a what a revolution, just like the answers. Because of this delay, so many people are already calling for it, but we are just waiting for INEC official before uh, knowing the right step to take. Or I sincerely hope that they will do the right thing. I sincerely hope that they will hear the voice of the mass and what and try as much as possible to reduce what the action within and do the right thing. Wow. Okay, I mean. <laughs> I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the whole situation is gonna be because if 
a particular, okay, if you tell me maybe a particular state did not vote, that's going to be explanatory or maybe not so overwhelming. But now, the whole, almost the whole of the southern region of, I mean, southeast region of Nigeria hasn't voted. I mean, I feel like, anyways, I'm not going to um, draw the cards in here or make conclusion. I'm just going to be hopeful and see how it turns out. And most importantly, I really don't wish for any revolution because, I mean, we all know what happened in October 10, 2020. So, yeah. Exactly. Anyway, that, that is going to be it for this interview. And let me see how many more that is. Is right on point. Okay. So, I'm just going to give you a moment to maybe ask a question. If you want to ask me how we feel here, just know we are very tense. And I mean, anyone right now, anyone in Nigeria, in, in China, or maybe in diaspora in, in general, we are all tense, especially me right now. We are all tense, and we're really looking forward to hearing the, the news very soon. Okay, so do you like have any question or any last word for this interview today? Okay, um, we have a lot of Nigerians in diaspora that has been supporting this movement. Uh, it has been um, their voices have been so loud online. Most of them have even funded the movement. So I just want to ask, like, how do you guys feel? Like, who are you guys supporting? Like, um, okay, how um, how is this new Nigeria movement to everyone in diaspora? Okay, one thing, one disappointing thing about this question to me here in China is that we don't do elections here. We don't do anything politics. I mean, it's exactly against the law here in China. Okay, and also the, the media we chat with, which is WeChat, we have some restrictions not to also talk about politics. So when you ask how is it going here in, in China, I'll just say, you. I, I mean, I'll just tell you it's more like an individual stuff or maybe like your real your your group of friends you guys talking about things and all that. But we don't. We, it's not it's not as um it's not as imposing or as important as people probably in the U.S., U.K., Canada, all those I mean Western countries. But here in China, we don't talk or do anything politics here in China. So it's. Either way, it's tempting, but we we did not do much. Just the normal, a hey, vote for this person, vote for that person. And obviously, everyone here has their different parties. But with the people surrounding me, we're supporting the Labour Party, which is Pital B, and he's a princess as well. I just, we can't talk much about politics here. And as a matter of fact, I'm doing this meeting on Zoom. Um, so I'm free to talk about this, but the Tencent, which is the Chinese Zoom, we cannot say things like this. I mean, everything's just being so secure. So we, we, we don't talk about politics here and probably we don't even know much about the contribution side. Yeah. I think your question should go to people in the UK or US. For me, I may not know much. <laughs> yeah. That was a, a okay. there, right? <clears throat> All right. Thank you. I was actually expecting please to enter but it's okay i'm just gonna maybe call him later because i really want to know what's going on in other parts of the world okay i see a lot of people sending me videos okay because you guys can see that <clears throat> i think they are reading and the funny thing is that there is one that was Okay, like you just said, we are, I don't know, but <laughs> they're trying to rig it, and <clears throat> hmm, sorry. All right, thank you so much. I would like to call it um, a day from here, and hopefully, hopefully, me, myself, I am supporting the Labour Party, and I'm so sure you are too. So let's just be very, 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 very optimistic and yeah. hopeful. All right, guys, that is, little, that is going to be it for this session. Thank you so much for tuning in. And if you watch this video, just know this was 
this this is gonna be a very important day in history on my channel because every year I just wanna go back to this video and watch how the whole thing is happening, like how it happened and the whole situation. All right, thank you, Mr. Opina Cosmos. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you later in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you. All right.